you believe in things that you don't understand, then you suffer. Baphomet is made of a reverse composition of three abbreviations. Tem, Of, Av. Spelled backwards, Baphomet. Tem referring to Temple, the O Ominum, the P Passive, the H Hominum, the Ab Abbas, Tem of Ab, Temple, Ominum, Hominum, Passive, Abbas. Translating to from Latin the God of the Temple of Peace among all men. From the Greek, we have Bafe Metis. Bafe relating to dip or to die, to die with color. Or Baptist, baptism, baptize. Metis referring to the wisdom of the math or the metrics or the measurements. Baphometis, baptized by wisdom. Baptized in the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the math. If you apply the Akbash cipher to the name Baphomet, written in Hebrew. The Akbash cipher uses the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet and changes it with the last. The first shall be last. When you use this cipher on Baphomet, you get the word Sophia. Bet Pe Vav Mem Tav turns to Shin Vav Pe Yud Aleph. Sophia, the Divine Mother Wisdom, who Solomon speaks of throughout the Proverbs. Sophia is the origin wisdom of the word Sufi. The Sufis used the word Abu Fahimat, the source of all understanding, Abu Fahimat. You've heard of the goat of Mendes. This is a, another name for Abu Fahimat or Baphomet. The word Mendes is from the Mendesius. Mendesius in Greek is Lower Egypt. In Egypt, Lower Egypt is actually the north, referring to the higher self or the head. You could even see this in the traveler. Masons are also travelers, but there's a traveler named Rashef or Rashpu in the Egyptian system. Rashpu does not cut his hair, he doesn't cut his locks, and he has a goat coming from his head. Also in Egypt you have Ba meaning the soul or immortal essence. Fa to carry, lift, or born and mat, the order, truth, justice, the immortal essence being lifted and born to order and truth. The devil is the 15th tarot, or Baphomet is the 15th tarot. This relates to the 15th Hebrew letter. Ayin, which means eye in Ethiopia. It also means the eye that you see with in Hebrew. Ayin. 
15 is of course 3 times 5 which leads us to the 5 point star the 5 point star is always associated with Baphomet his face is often seen inside the 5 point star you have Pan Pan and Pentacle that pentagram that pen stands for five pan also stands for all like Pangea all one earth or one land or Pan-African one all the pan is also a goat man in the Greek mythologies getting back to the five the five point star is made up of angles these angles have degrees the degrees of the five point star and pentagram are all nines. You have 36 degrees, 72 degrees, and 108 degrees. We know that 36 relates to 360 degrees. In the cipher, we know that the 72 relates to the 72 names of God used by Moses in the Hebraic Kabbalah tradition. And we know that the 108 relates to the Vedic tradition. You see this 108 on, on the beads that sadhus chant on, the Japa Mala, and the five letter mantra, five again, five. Nama Shivaya, which brings us to Shiva, the dreadlock Congo, who smokes ganja from the Chillum and does yoga all day and all night because of his practices and his lifestyle the father of his wife-to-be wasn't feeling him his name was Daksha and Daksha dis Shiva bad and Shiva sliced his head off and out of mercy Shiva bestowed the head of a goat on Daksha Daksha is now one of the greatest devotees of Shiva and sadhus to this day before they partake of their chillum will chant BOOM BOOM similar to the goat sound in India you see if you hate the devil you become hate hate and hurting others that's what I don't deal with but to love to love your enemy didn't Jesus Christ say to love your enemies? Don't they say that the devil or Baphomet is the greatest enemy? Can you love Baphomet? Or are you going to hate and become hateful and become just like what you're hating? Unto the pure, all things are pure. Your own Bible says this. And it's not what comes in. It's not these images of Baphomet that make you unclean or defile you. It's what comes out. Your interpretation of it. Most people want to interpret things superstitiously, spooky, mysteriously. This is all based on etymology. And it's based on alchemy. Finding the beauty in everything. 